Hello everyone. Will COVID-19 kill office romance? That's the question. The term office romance tends to lead us into a slippery arena of scandalous extramarital affairs and sexually charged situations at work. The result, casual short-term relationships that are potentially disastrous. However, did you know that 22% of US couples confirmed that they found love at work and married that person? Do the math. That's almost one in four. So we're talking about meaningful, lasting, and successful love affairs coming out of office romance. A famous example is Bill Gates and Melinda Gates. They met in 1987 at Microsoft. Now, the rest is history. So the workspace does create a perfect opportunity to get to know someone really well. You get to know them in a way that you simply cannot by swiping right on a dating app. But in an environment where we have no office parties, no after work drinks, no physical proximity to that attractive person you have been googling what will happen to our one in four calculation the odds seem to be stacked against office romance at this time no this covid 19 blow to office romance comes right on the heels of the me too movement and the deluge of sexual harassment lawsuits and the mounting fear of men in senior position to mentor women. So back in the good old days, the good old days, we had guardrails to protect the lovers in the office. Guardrails such as love contracts, self-declaration, no philandering, depending on which side of the spectrum your organization swap. From no dating to dating. The rules of engagement, such as reporting the matter to HR, both persons agreeing that there was a relationship to ensure that if somebody changed their mind, there wouldn't be a lawsuit. And to also observe the no dating rules between persons who had a direct reporting relationship and specifically no dating between bosses and subordinates. But would all of this be necessary in a COVID-19 or post-COVID-19 world? Would we still need to enforce transferring one person to another department or asking them to exit the organization in a virtual working space would that still be necessary and would there be benefits to a virtual workspace I think there could be some the first one is that persons attracting to each other at work would most likely have to spend more time getting to know each other and that would mean it would take a longer time for them to get to the step of becoming physical now that's a good thing that could mean that stronger bonds would be created resulting maybe in more long-term relationships and then our one in four number could possibly increase now, those who are married would be very interested in this, or those who are in committed relationships. I feel that there would be less opportunity for persons in these extramarital relationships to continue philandering because they are spending less time together in a physical space at work. This would mean that less hours 
at work physically to be in the same office with your crush would mean more time at home with your spouse. That could be a good thing. There should also be less sexual harassment claims and thus reduce payments by companies to settle lawsuits. That seems like a good outcome. Another thing that I would be happy about is that men in positions of power may become more open to the idea of mentoring women in a virtual workspace since these sessions could be freely recorded by either parties and the recordings be retrieved at a later date if needed. In addition to this, a virtual space would create physical distance which would make it feel much safer for these men to mentor women who, not that they do not want to mentor women, but they are afraid that it may come back to haunt them. Now, COVID will definitely present a challenge for those who are just entering the work world and those who are at the what I call the mating slash dating stage of life because generally this is the time when you leave school you're getting into the work of world you're starting to build your professional career and this is where you meet a lot of persons now without that I feel it is time for creativity and the technology will help us to answer that call the solutions will be there I feel that as long as we have men and women interacting the brain will naturally find a way to do what nature dictates persons may take more risk to act on their desires and feelings. Uh, this could be a negative. This is something that we have to think about uh, because the, the, the pressures of responding to our feelings probably may temporarily put the front the, you know, or thinking something through carefully on hold while we behave in more risk-taking behaviors. However, regardless of the rules, and the context that we are faced with, office romance will continue to be a thing. Personally, I doubt that COVID-19 will kill office romance. The way it happens, I think, will change. It will certainly slow down the progress of one person acting on their crush without the water cooler, without the lunch cafeteria, without the conferences, and without the business trips. However, like everything else, human beings will always evolve and meet this new challenge. We have always done that. So, COVID-19 will be no different. So, Will COVID-19 kill office romance? I doubt it.